So what do you have to say about Valentine's Day, bub? Nothing? You got nothing? You got nothing? Oh, Are you sure you got nothing? Are you positive? Oh, Lenny. I'm sure you've got me a present for Valentine's Day, right? Okay, maybe not. Okay, well, <clears throat> this is just a small primer, a primer, if you will, on Valentine's Day. Something I haven't actively participated in since 1981. Hmm, I've been divorced a long time. 82, yeah, divorced a long time. Anyway, but I do remember Valentine's Day. There are a few things that if you're willing to put a little thought in, you'll be home free. Some people get a little wonky about Valentine's Day. No reason. You'll be fine. Now, for those of you who have someone in your life and you actually listen to them and pay attention to what they say and observe what they do, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. This isn't for you. This is for all those who don't pay attention, don't listen, don't observe. The men and the ladies. Okay, I'm going to start with the men. It's a little easier for me to do because I was on the receiving end at one point. So there are some basics. Number one, if you go too expensive, it's a little weird. Now, if you're used to expensive and you both have the money and it's not an issue, okay, whatever. But this is a simple holiday. It doesn't have to be nuts. It really doesn't. Thank you, Lenny, for the jingling. Okay. It doesn't have to be nuts. It does have to be thought out a little bit. Don't overthink. You'll be fine. Number one, men. This is for the men. Number one, flowers. It is hard to go wrong with flowers. It is possible. There are a couple instances. Number one, very allergic person. Very allergic person on the receiving end will get sick if you get them flowers. Bad idea. There are alternatives. Another thing, if the person on the receiving end has at some point said, now you have to remember, did they ever say, oh, I hate cut flowers. They always die off so soon. And they have a green thumb, and you notice in their place of residence there are live plants thriving. Well, get them a live plant instead of regular flowers. Now, okay, flowers does not have to be a dozen red roses. Now, if you listen to the symbolism of the flowers thing, yeah, red roses stand for love, romantic love. And that's fine. But what if they don't particularly care for roses and they really like this other flower? I'll tell you a little story. My wedding day. We only had one night for a honeymoon, really. Because my ex, who was not my ex at the time, you understand. He had to get to work by the following Monday. And so we got married on Saturday. We only had Sunday. So Saturday night, booked a spot at a local nice hotel. It was a Hilton. And my newly married husband at the time had been listening, observing, and paying attention and remembering. When we got to our hotel room, there were four huge vases of my favorite flower on the planet. Yes, four huge vases of them. It was amazing to look at them. I was, I mean, he, he gained points for years, probably right up until the divorce, really. Yeah. He gained points for a long time because he paid attention, heard, listened, observed. So if your loved one really loves carnations or loves irises or craves daisies. Go with them. It's not just that it's cheaper. 
it's that it's the flower they actually like. Roses die faster than carnations, too. Okay? All right, now, let's get on to the chocolate thing, because it's very important. Trust me on this. Very important. If your loved one likes white chocolate, don't get them milk chocolate or dark chocolate. Get them, what I say, white chocolate. If, on the other hand, they love dark chocolate, you know, all these dark chocolate bars that are out now with the 60%, 70% dark cacao and all this stuff with the antioxidant thing, you can find them at any drugstore, any grocery anymore. Not that hard. Go with it! <laughs> Go with that. If you want to take it up a notch, get a different brand of chocolate, like, I don't know, Godiva. <laughs> but don't get that little four-piece box. If you're going to go Godiva, get a decent size box. Not the big honking! Just decent. Now, if your loved one has never eaten a chocolate-covered cherry in their life, do not get that for them. You see, if you get a box of chocolate, even if it's Fannie Mae or Stover or whatever, and it's prepackaged, turn it over and read the back of the box. Does it have chocolate ch covered cherries? Does it have creams? Does it have caramels? Nuts and crunchies and caramels. Thank you, Lenny. Sit! <laughs> Valentine! Don't give me that look. Read what it's got on the back, in the box, okay? You want to know what it's got in the box because not all chocolates are the same. They're not the same. So get the chocolates that your loved one actually likes in the variety. White chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. There's a continuum there. You got to stick with it. Now, it doesn't have to be chocolate. What if your loved one likes a different kind of candy altogether? Butterfingers or something like that. Well, get them a snack pack of, you know, little bite-sized Butterfingers for them to take to work or something. You know, get them what they like. Okay, so we've covered flowers and chocolate. Card. Very tricky here. Use your head. Use your head. Use your head. Okay? If both of you like jokes and you're very funny together and you like to laugh and you have enjoyed funny cards in the past, you're probably okay if the card is not offensive in any way possible. If your loved one is a little on the sentimental side, you could get a funny card with a sentiment. Just watch your sentiment funny balance, okay? There's a sentiment funny continuum too so i should i should chart this out anyway <laughs> which is not unlike my clothing grid but we'll talk about that another day so get them what they like and on a card, get them what you both might enjoy. Now, those are the three basics. If you do want to go out to dinner, make sure it's a place you both like. It might have some good history in your past. But you don't have to go out to dinner. You can eat in and cook something really kind of fun. When I was newly married, I cooked all sorts of great stuff. It's not that I can't cook. I don't cook. There's a difference. I used to cook Cornish game hens and homemade sauerbraten, homemade egg rolls that were just oh, fantastic. I was in love. It's true. But uh, do something fun like that. For one of our anniversaries, yeah, I did Cornish game hens and some meat potatoes and great veggies and uh, 
So, yeah, you can eat at home. Now, if you want to go into the other expensive things like jewelry, concert tickets, make sure it's something the other person will like. Okay. Now, women, the same thing really holds true. If your man likes a different kind of candy, if he likes a certain type of imported beer, um, and he doesn't have an alcohol problem. If he has an alcohol problem, get the candy. <laughs> something else. Okay? But if there's something special, um, if you don't mind him s sitting out in the back and smoking cigars, if there's a special cigar he likes, something that he wouldn't have every day, that might be nice. So use your heads. Be observant. But now that we're in the week of Thanksgiving, you don't have a lot of time to be observant, so I'm just trying to give you a couple tips. Hard to go wrong with flowers, but just be a little careful. Get the right kind of chocolate. If it's not chocolate, and the other candy, as long as it's one they really, really like. Like, well, my ex-husband, he loved Zero Bars, the ones with the white chocolate on them, which I would never eat because I'm a dark chocolate fan. But he loved Zero Bars. Once in a while, I'd pick up a couple for him, you know, because he liked them. So, think along those lines. And I think you'll be fine. And enjoy Valentine's Day. The rest of you singles out there who don't think about Valentine's Day, just don't think about it. But take yourselves out to dinner sometime this week. Not on the day. Not on Valentine's Day. Take yourself out to dinner some other day this week. Some place you like to go. You can have a date with yourself. I take myself out to dinner. Works out fine. Do it. Or take yourself to a movie. Whatever you like. But be kind to yourself this week. You're your own Valentine. We won't go any further than that, but you're, you're your own Valentine. <laughs> you can take yourself to a movie. You can take yourself out to dinner. You can buy yourself a little piece of jewelry or, you know, be kind to yourself. Thank you, Lenny. Just be kind to yourself, and yourself will be kind to you. So a few tips. Don't panic. Calm down. It'll be fine. Have a nice week. Talk to you later.